The foundation coming at you with another division predictions video. I'll be doing the AFC and NFC North. Let's get on to it. Uh, got the AFC North. Uh, got the Cleveland Browns coming up last, but I think they're gonna they're gonna surprise some people. They're gonna have some entertaining games. I think for them, I think it's like this being consistent and the inability. I mean, I think where they're gonna get in trouble is inability to either capitalize, uh, take advantage of some situations, or they might put themselves early or later in bad situations, and especially ability to close out games. That's where they're gonna, that's, you know, that's how it's gonna play out for them. But you might see them look like, wow, you know, you know, like when you go, man, how the Browns did that? And you go, wow, they really did something. But at the same time, the same time all those all those other things is gonna creep up i mean you know i was gonna say that hugh jackson is a quarterback whisper but thanks to brock osweiler he ruined his reputation <laughs> uh hopefully deshaun kaiser can redeem that for him <laughs> um talking about deshaun kaiser though you know a lot of people speculated that he should have stayed in school um, because of the way he regressed at notre dame this last year but watching him in the in the preseason I mean, he wasn't like world beating or anything like that. He looked he he looked poised, and he looked he 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 showed signs of being a quality quarterback, or showed a lot of quarterback qualities, I should say. Um, he looks like he's leading the team the right way. Uh, looks like then the team is buying into him. Uh, but it's gonna take it's gonna take a whole team effort to keep his confidence going. You know, with Corell and Duke Johnson. Um, you know, the, if the offense can put him in favorable positions and all that, not making him feel that he has to make plays and all that, let him grow within the offense, and he should be fine. Um, defensively, damn. You look at the names, I was just like, they, they that's where I kind of like had opened my eyes. I was like, wow, this, these guys could, these guys could, these guys could make some noise in this, in in this division. I mean, you got Jamie Collins, you got Ogba, you got Sheldon, you got Nazib who in the senior bowl I kinda I, I was kinda eyeing him up. I was like if we picked him I would have been pleasantly surprised, you know, like or satisfied I'll put that. I'll put it that way. And then now Miles Garrett. Woo that's a pretty good front uh, defensive front, you know. <laughs> I mean not gonna, they're not the top ones, you know, but they look on paper, they look really, really exciting. Um, Jabril Peppers, the the uh, combine, the NFL combine. Uh, I mean, he he killed it there, but you know, like, but I hope they let him grow within his position, uh, with his, cause with his natural God-given talents, you know, his ability to make plays. Once that mental click comes up, and once he learns to. Um, he learns to he learns to read the offenses like that. Imagine him picking off the ball. I mean, it's gonna be scary. I mean, you got a playmaker on defense. That's how good it is gonna be them. And all right, so hopefully they let him do that. Uh, next is the Cincinnati Bengals. I got them finishing third. Now this one is tricky. I, I can have you can rotate these guys one, two, and three in either way you like. Cause there's gonna be a game, and maybe the Browns play a part. That's gonna ruin it for one of these teams, and that's what I think is gonna happen. Um, but with the Cincinnati Bengals, you know, Andy Dalton, you know, solid quarterback, you know, not not top five, but you know, he does he gets the job done with them. Um, you know, AJ Green, top three, top four wide receiver, um, top five definitely. Um, him and LaFell has a has a good has a good. Uh, tandem going on within them um Eifert if he can stay healthy but the big thing is that the, that backfield Hill Bernard and Mixon uh, Mixon you know he, he uh, hopefully he hopefully he grows you know I'm not gonna get all into preachy about him but then hopefully he gets on the field and we talk about him in that sense I'll put it that way uh, Cause he's, I mean, if he was, if if he didn't go through what he went through, you know, McCaffrey and 
and uh, Fournette and and Dalvin Cook like that. They would have, I mean, well, Dalvin Cook fell down anyway, but between those, between Fournette and McCaffrey, they would have been, it would have been a lot of question like, who is mixing the best court, uh, running back? So, you know, and then defensively, Atkins, Dunlap, Kirkpatrick, I mean, they are solid, but for some reason, again, I just think they're not going to be able, oh, Carl Lawson, one guy, one guy that a lot of Cowboys wanted and all that. I wanted him, but I mean, who do you trade out, to be honest? I, I, uh, it's hard to say, but anyway, um, we got our guys. Finally, got uh, not finally, but got the Baltimore Ravens finishing second. Um, Ozzie Newsom just reloaded on defense, and looks like they're gonna make it a uh, grind it out, hard nose, you know, old school NFC North. I mean, AFC North style football. Just, just beat up on each other until the game is over, and who and whoever has more points is not gonna be stylistic, you know. Um, and the because the biggest question is is that the back of uh of Joe Flacco now he did come back and you know seems fine and everything, but you know nobody knows better about backs than the cowboys so um uh, but you know like yeah Tim Williams that kid from oh shoot what is that kid's name the kid from Houston uh, ah, dang it ah, I cannot think of his name. But Humphrey, their their top their top pick, all those guys, you know, all the I mean, all those reloading on the defense, they they're gonna they're gonna you're gonna they're gonna take their pound the flesh on anything they play against. Um, next, I think, uh, uh, not next, but the team that's winning the division is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, is this the final year of Big Ben? That's him for him to decide, but. Uh, he uh, Le'Veon Bell did sign his his um his franchise tender. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, did I say tender? <laughs> tender. <laughs> uh, but they have a great story with the kid James Connor. Um, you know, you got the um, what his name? Oh, what his name? It uh got reinstated Martavius Bryant and then you got Antonio Brown easily top five top three top two you know if you want to put them at the top I won't argue <laughs> um, then defensively you know the one that's going to be really linked to the Cowboys is TJ Watt I'm not going to get into that because we got Taco I moved on already um, if anybody has a, if, if anyone wants my real thoughts is that once Harris was gone I went to King, but well, we chose we chose um, Taco over Watt and King, and I'm gonna roll with Taco already. It is what it is. Um, Dupree, Shazier, all the you know, Artie Burns, another year under his belt. They're gonna be a tough team to beat, and an explosive onset so like that. It's gonna really, it's gonna be really hard to, um, hard to beat them. Next, the NFC North. I got the Bears finishing last. Um, you know, I look at their offensive line and I go, man, their their offensive line is pretty good. Um, and with Howard bur bursting on the scene, damn. You know, and whoever is the quarterback, I mean, you know, Glennon or Trubisky, I mean, as long as they're, they're, the wide receiver White stays healthy, I mean, White was... White was like, uh, I think some people compare them to like Des, but with more speed. Uh, so if he can stay healthy, they got a playmaker in that. And they got Miller as well as a tight end, a security blanket. Uh, defensively, I think they're still learning the scheme uh, with Leonard Floyd, a Kyle Fuller, uh, Amukamara, um, guys like that. So once they, once they learn that style, then they should be fine. Um, next, I got the Minnesota Vikings. You know, last year I had them coming very close, but after the uh, the Bridgewater thing, man, that's hard. You know, and I think Sam Bradford, I think, is again starting this year. 
don't trust him. <laughs> that offensive line is not that nothing to be all all about, but you know, with Davin Cook and all them, Davin Cook, if he can stay healthy, then you know we've seen his talent and his and his, and his home run hitting ability. Um, Diggs and Coley and Treadwell. Coley was one guy. If I mean, I would have take. I I I had him. I I had him ahead of uh, Switzer and Noah Brown. Um, I had Xavier Woods higher than all of them, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> uh, next, I got the. Oh yeah, wait. Uh, defensively, you know, they have their guy. I mean, it's still a damn good defense, but I think it's gonna be too much to ask every time for this, their defense to to come up and step up to the challenge. I mean, you saw. They were doing that for a while, and then after a while, it got it got the, to the best of them. Um, next, I got the Detroit Lions. Lions surprised me last year, and I don't see any reason why they're gonna take a step back. Um, you know, they got Galladay as that big type receiver, which you know they want because you know ever since Megatron left. But you got Golden Tate, the you know a, a guy out there that really can can play uh, scrappy scrappy guy uh, then also they got Jones and you know their defense maybe not be filled with stars but they they play hard so that's why I got them coming second finally I got the Green Bay Packers you know you almost can put it in ink that they're gonna be competing for the um, AFC North every year uh, looks like they revamped their off uh, their running game and but and they also got you know Bennett as the tight end. Uh, they got some good guys, you know. So, so and then defensively they got King. Um, they got some, you know. They got Clay Matthews, Clark, who I like, who I like a lot. Um, thanks for a couple of the guys though. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you know with and uh, Clinton Dix, you know, and you know another year under his belt. Looks like he's ready to make the next step forward. But, you know, as long as you have Aaron Rodgers, you have a chance. And I know, you know, Cowboy fans know it all too well. It sucks. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do the Cowboy, uh, not Cowboys, but the AFC East tomorrow with some Cowboy news. And I'll close out with the NFC East because I'd like to go a little bit more in depth than that. All right. Mahalo for watching. Bunny all the boys and go Cowboys. <laughs>